take a scatter plot by hand. First thing you got to do is draw your axes. Let's do that. Next, you have to decide what's going to be your explanatory variable. If you're not sure, just go ahead and use the first column. We're going to label our x axes as the percent of returning birds. We're going to label our response variable, the y-axis, as the number of new birds that have joined the flock. Now you have to measure off your axes in the units of whatever your variable is being measured in. So the, our percents is percents. That's pretty easy. We'll just go ahead and count them off in equal increments. And then for the new birds, we'll just go from like zero to... Normally you try to do a little bit over whatever is the top. So we'll go from zero to 25. Now we plot each individual point here. So at 74%, we're going to plot the five birds. Let's do that now. So at 75%, we're going to go up to five birds right about there. Let's go to the next point, 66 points and six. Okay, 66%. And then we go up to six birds, a little bit higher than that one. And then at 81%, we're going to have eight birds. So at 81%, that's right around here. We're going to take it up to about 8 birds. That's right around there. I'm going to go ahead and plot the rest of these to make this a shorter film. And there's your scatter pot. I'm going to just go ahead and pick any point. This point, you would go straight down. That looks like it's pretty close to 60 on one side and about 18 on the other. So that's, that's this data right here, 60, 19. This one is roughly 50 up and about 12 over. That would represent, oh, this one right here, 52 and 11. Right? It doesn't have to be exact, but do you do see the overall pattern. As the x variable increases, the y variable decreases. So there's your scatterpot. NGZ out.